Howdy. I had a viewer ask a question, and it's a really good question, and it's one of those deals to where I got the email of the comment, and I can't find the comment on YouTube anywhere. So, this is the only way I can think of to answer the gentleman's question. So, I was asked on my last video, my review video for the uh, Horticulture Lighting Group lighting system, I was asked, how come I don't repair the the LED driver myself? That's a really good question. And the answer is pot. Well, not quite just pot, but potting. And I'm going to show you real quick, real briefly, what potting is and just share a couple of little details about it. So, potting is in a lot of different types of products. It, it all depends on what type of environment that that product is going to be in. And so, I've got a few examples here. Uh, this is one example of, of potting, and what it essentially does is it encapsulates the circuit board and the components. The reason why you want to do that is because moisture, humidity, can get in there and corrode the circuit board, can corrode the components connections and what have you, and of course, some particular components are going to be around that type of environment more often. You mix air in, and that's where you start getting your, you know, corrosion and whatnot. So that's what potting does, is it encapsulates the circuit board and its components, and prevents the moisture and oxygen from getting to it to cause any damage. So that's why you would use potting on a circuit board. Now, uh, this example here, I believe it's going to be about. There's different types of potting, okay, and there's different densities of it and I would say that this just by looking at it how it's pouring into the enclosure see we used to use this on some of the components for the uh, for the company I worked for for years ago um, there was a few different components that they had that that required potting and so I'm a bit familiar with it uh, I didn't have to do the potting part I worked in the test and repair lab so um, that was somebody else's bag of fun, but um, I want to say just by appearance by how it's it's pouring out here that this is going to be kind of like a medium density potting is going to be my guess. Some potting is real soft. It's more like a silicone and other potting is really hard kind of like a plastic. So I'm betting that this is going to be somewhere in the middle here. And uh, just a quick note about this particular picture here. Uh, I believe that's a crystal right there. Uh, that I believe is going to be a crystal. You don't see that a whole lot these days uh, because technology, you know, they do that now, you know, digitally with a, a teeny tiny little chip. The other thing I wanted to show you about this board here is this component right here. I've talked about these on the show before because I used to have to deal with them directly. This is called an EEPROM, and uh, this is old, old technology. Uh, one of these puppies right here, <laughs> you could put Lord knows how many of them on literally the tip of a, a straight pin, okay? This is, this is how far technology has come since the particular time that stuff like this was made. So, and I really don't, this does, I do believe, I believe this might be a little more um, modern than my initial, no, no, that, I don't think those are LEDs, I think those are resistors, never mind, scratch that, um, this particular board, I am going to guess, uh, came from right around t the time that I was working in the field, uh, and the reason why I say that is because surface mount boards were kind of, you know, just up and coming at the time, and um, the mixture of surface mount components as well as the EE prom kind of gives me a, a rough general idea of the date. I, I, for a moment, I was thinking, are those surface mount LEDs? No, I believe that they're probably surface mount resistors, but I'm not 100% positive on that. So let me talk about this EE prom and then we'll go on. Um, this EE prom, I've talked about them before. I used to work on different components that required these, and the the interesting thing about these is you see that little glass sight window there. This is a rewritable chip, and what you would do is before you program the chip, you take a, a sticker and you put over top 
of the chip and of course over the the glass and what that would do would be prevent light from getting in there because that is how you delete the information to rewrite it is you essentially just stick this under an ultraviolet light uv light in fact you could just put it in under a fluorescent light and over a little bit of time it will erase it and so that's why you have to put a sticker over top of it before you program it and uh, so I've got direct experience with uh, these fun little guys right here uh, so by looking at this picture I would say that this is like I was saying like a medium potting as far as the density the LED driver by the weight just feeling it I haven't taken tried taking the case apart or anything like that because I'm smarter than that <laughs> Um, by the weight of it, it feels to be a pretty dense potting that's inside of there. And I would say probably around the density of this, if not a little bit more. And, you know, a little bit more dense. And so I'm going to show you another example of potting. Now, this is going to be uh, your, I don't know, more like your silicon type of potting to where it's not going to get real super, super hard. But it's still a nightmare to, to deal with. Um, and I don't, I can't promise this, but I don't think the colors designate it. I think that's just a thing. I don't think the colors actually designate anything specific about the potting. But this is another example of potting here. And then, um, lastly, I've got this here. Now, this is actually an electronic control module out of a late 70s, for instance, Ford. And, uh, I've, I've dealt with many, many of these. And this black stuff that you see on the back side, it, it's the same thing. They essentially, they just put the circuit board in there. They encapsulate it with the potting here. And then that will protect it from all kinds of stuff. Vibration, moisture, air, um, you name it. So it, it protects it from quite a bit of stuff. And so this here is going to be your harder type of potting. More like your you know, your hard plastic type of potting. So, and I'm not 100% sure what that LED driver has in it. I would say, I would say probably about a medium density potting would be my guess. Without pulling it apart and looking, that would be my guess. So the issue with that overall is when you try to or attempt to work on that board, you first have to get rid of all of that potting off of that board. Good luck. <laughs> you can't use chemical strippers or anything like that to remove it because that's going to damage the board and components on it. So you can't use any type of a chemical remover or anything like that to take the potting off. And if you look around on the internet where people have gone through the trouble of digging potting out, uh, you'll see in many, many cases you will damage the board or components in the process of trying to get that potting out of there. Um, this stuff, for anybody that's ever had to deal with uh, the Cosmoline <laughs> that comes on the older rifles and stuff like that, this stuff is even worse than Cosmoline. So anybody that's familiar with dealing with Cosmoline, then you'll, you'll yeah, that Cosmoline it has nothing on, on potting. So just, just saying. Uh, so that's why. That's why. It's uh, pretty... I won't say the word impossible, but it's way more of a pain in the butt than it's worth. And the results you wind up with might be uh, not satisfactory. Because again, it's really easy to mess up a circuit board or a component on a circuit board. And uh, and when you got to sit there and dig and dig and dig, that's probably what it is. But in reality, it's probably, as far as what's wrong with it, the LED driver is probably just a blown capacitor. My guess is going to be with a blown capacitor. Yeah, it could be any number of other things, but I'm going to go with the blown capacitor because the way it acts. If I if it's if I turn that trimmer down um, so that its high end is lower, then uh, then it doesn't do it. It doesn't blink. It doesn't flicker. And so, but when you turn it up. You know, that's when it gives a problem. I mean, yeah, yeah, it could be other components as well that, that could make that happen. But more often than not, from what I've seen, uh, it's probably a capacitor. And it's just kind of one of those things. So that's that's your answer. That's why I didn't uh, try to repair that unit. And uh, I'm not even, gonna, not even tempted to try to repair that unit uh, because 
I don't have a headache and I don't really want one. So <laughs> anyway, uh, good question. Good question. Thanks for asking. I will talk to you all later. Shalom.